inspiring actuaries i hope you're all doing good i am anchal your actuarial mentor and a qualified actuary and welcome back to my channel the actuarial quest so i recently started going through all your comments especially focusing on the questions that you've been asking me and i decided to make a separate videos on the most commonly asked questions so i had been planning to record this video since a long while now but just couldn't gather time to actually sit um, write the content research around the same and then record the video because you know other important things keep coming up and then i have to put this channel on a back seat Anyway, today is the day that I'm finally recording this video and I really want to thank you for sticking around with me on this channel. When I'm not working on my channel, even then I keep getting notifications about your comments uh that you keep posting on my videos and that really motivates me to come back to this channel to take care of this channel and take care of all of you. so that you can take informed decision around your career and you can also become an actuary just like me so you can trust me as your actuarial mentor and yes thank you for sticking around and if you have any questions any recommendations for me or any feedback please write that in the comments and i'll definitely get back to you anyway everything aside here is the question that i'm going to answer in today's video Can I pursue actuarial science if I'm not good at maths? So I've got a bunch of questions from students asking how difficult the math involved is or how much syllabus of the actuarial science involves maths. And some have also asked if actuarial science is doable for non-math students and if yes then how the route for them is like So clearly there is this whole belief out there that actuarial science is all about maths and you should not pursue actuarial science if you have not studied maths. So let me burst the bubble here. I guess the pure maths that I studied in the entire actuarial journey was in the ASET which is the entrance exam for IAI. And then afterwards I never came across any pure maths questions. Instead there were certain applications of some of the maths concepts like uh, there were some derivations based on integration and differentiation in the cs and cm subjects and then solving equations of value were there in almost i think every non theoretical actuarial su subject so yes there is involvement of maths but you should understand the fact that more than maths actuarial science is about the ability to think logically and mathematically and then apply that in the areas of finance macroeconomics risk management coding and much more so maths is an integral part of the actuarial science syllabus but that is not everything even if you didn't study maths after class 10th actuarial science is doable for you there is no mandatory requirement that you must have studied maths if you want to pursue actuarial science it's just that in the initial exams you will have to pay a little more attention um, or you might have need to take coachings to understand the mathematical concepts as you keep on reaching towards the later subjects the mathematical part keeps on reducing still why do people say that maths is crucial for pursuing actuarial science well that is because maths as a subject improves a student's ability to think logically and think creatively to develop solutions to problems which exactly is a requirement for actuarial science as an actuary you will never be asked what is the integration of sin theta cos theta but you must be able to think logically and analytically to develop solutions to real life problems and for real life risk that a company is facing you should be good at number crunching and analysis although even if you're not good at number crunching and analysis uh, i believe that as you keep on studying the subjects of actuarial science as you keep on clearing them uh, you will eventually develop all these skills and i think almost every skill can be achieved by working hard towards it so can i pursue actuarial science if i'm not good at math yes you can but with a little bit of efforts can i pursue actuarial science if i'm not good at logical reasoning and aptitude probably yes but again with a little bit of efforts can i pursue actuarial science if i don't have the interest in analyzing numbers 
or if I don't have the interest in predicting risks of a company, then definitely not. So that's all for today. I hope this video answers your question. I will be back with some more interesting topics around the actuarial profession. But till then, like this video, subscribe to my channel and do put your comments and questions because all this motivates me to keep working regularly on this channel. Signing off for now, we'll be back soon.